Gary, thanks for your video response. Um, it's a good video. Actually, I agree with almost all of it. Um, uh, your view that uh, rather than heeding the pangs of conscience or guilt, uh, there are positive reasons not to do bad things, not to do things that we colloquially refer to as bad, uh, usually having something to do with violating somebody else or interfering with their free will or, you know, their autonomy, I guess, if we don't like the word free will, the term free will. Um, still, um, I understand that the videos that you make when you're walking through the woods are pretty ad-libbed, uh, but looked like a slip up there at about 8.40 or something. Um, I have principles, which is the desire not to be a fucking useless sack of evil shit. Uh, <clears throat> well, <laughs> that sounds like guilt to me, because when you're feeling terrible and unreasonable guilt, you tend to think that you actually are a fucking useless sack of evil shit. Um, and you believe yourself, even though you may not actually, this may not actually be the case, but you have the desire uh, to take from someone who doesn't want to give, even if you don't have that desire, uh, in a state of advanced and protracted and severe and unreasonable guilt, you do believe that you you probably want to go out there and do all kinds of horrible things, because that's what kind of a bad person you are. That's guilt. Um, now, again, that was just sort of one little, you know, I'm quote mining essentially a long video. Uh, so I'll, you know, I'll just write that off as something that just came out when you're ad living. I do that all the time. I'm doing it right now, as a matter of fact. Uh, yeah, and this idea that I really like uh, is the idea that there is something beyond the objects that are to be gained by taking from other people. In other words, um, there is a higher sort of good out there besides um, gratifying my sen sense objects, or my sense, uh, gratifying my, uh, my uh, sensual desires, I guess, gratifying my desires in general. It looks as though guilt and desire are intimately um, involved with one another. And what... Um, this brings me back to the original question that I'd asked that started this whole thing off. Um, is it possible for the conscious mind to intervene uh, to alter uh, the value of an experience, the value of one's qualia, or you know whatever term you want to use for an actual experience? Um, because that kind of throws the whole idea of a default state into question. Because if I have as an autonomous sort of conscious entity uh, that doesn't deserve to be violated because to violate me, my autonomy, um, could provoke something like guilt in somebody else or whatever, um, because you know it's somehow wrong to interfere in my autonomy. Presumably I'm going somewhere with my own autonomy. It has value to me. Uh, the the value of not being interfered with. <clears throat> That's sort of a passive value. It's value of simply not um, having someone else take from me. In other words, screw up my the value, the value of my qualia, my perceptions, my experiences. Throwing me into a negative value, into a negative state of being. Because if I can intervene and change my state of being from, say, negative to positive, um, then there really is no actual point in desiring anything, apart from that which one truly needs, i.e. food, <laughs> shelter, that kind of thing, shelter from the elements or whatever. Uh, which there's plenty of, um, or at least in my case there's plenty of, um, because the utility that I get out of things that I desire is not, or potentially, if this sort of line of inquiry pans out, is not as 
sort of useful or efficient as the value of me changing things, my value state internally. In other words, when I desire something that someone else has, say I desire another human being's body, I want her to give it to me either, you know, I, even if I wanted her to give it to me voluntarily, what I ultimately want is the experience of sort of obtaining her body in a sense. That's We're back to the girl on the beach, the, bik the bikini clad girl walking up the beach. Let's say I'm not even thinking about forcing her to do anything. Let's say I'm thinking about asking her to accompany me into the back of my van over there because I've got a, a mattress in there. Nothing wrong with that, consenting adults, all that kind of thing. But ultimately, what do I want out of, out of her? What do I, or even, what do I simply want? Not so much what do I want out of her. I want a positive value state. Me doing what I'm going to do with her is a means to that end. And if she accompanies me into the van, presumably she expects the same thing out of me. Hard to believe that a woman would expect that out of somebody like me, but let's just go along with this for the sake of this video. Um, <clears throat> what we really want, not even what we want out of each other, what we really want at the end, at the end of the day is a positive value state. And we're looking for something out there to give us that positive value state. Desire. Okay. Now, is it possible for the will, for consciousness, for whatever you want to, whatever term you want to use, you don't even have to use the term I, but for just consciousness itself, um, is it possible to self-administer um, when it comes to positive value states? There may if, if the answer is yes, then in a sense there's no default position. In a sense, we're either in a state of <clears throat> error because positive value state is preferable to negative value state, <clears throat> or we are in a state of non-error because we are in positive value state. Um, and if we can go into a positive value state um, without actually having to desire anything, then guilt need never arise. <laughs> if consciousness can intervene, sort of show initiative, and alter or change the value of experience, value state of consciousness, then there is no requirement to desire anything outside of oneself, because what we desire outside of ourselves, or outside of our own consciousnesses, or whatever words you want to use, we're ultimately looking for something which is in here. Now that sounds pretty obvious, that really what we want is a positive experience. We don't really want uh, the woman walking up the beach. You know, it, it looks that way for all intents and purposes, and it certainly feels that way at the moment that it's taking place. But what you want is a positive value state. Can we give positive value states to ourselves? <laughs> and if we can, what does that say about desire and the desires that have to, that, that either have to be repressed or that will lead to guilt? This too might take a couple of more videos because I don't think I've expressed it very effectively, but I'll just upload this and see where it goes.